Our last deep talk is from Sam Matthews. Your next chapter, Retirement Reimagined. Thank you and good morning. Um, I'm probably delaying people from getting on to what they're wanting to do after, after the deep talks, but uh, really appreciate the opportunity to, to be with you. Just to give you a little bit of background about the Shepherd Center, uh, we presented a couple of years ago, and some of you may have been here then, uh, but we are certified as a Senior Center of Excellence by the North Carolina Department of Aging and Adult Services. We were very privileged to serve over 5,500 older adults last year throughout most of Forsyth County, and uh, we are very pleased to be a partner in the Age Friendly Forsyth uh, initiative that uh, Lee and Teresa talked about and are looking forward to how that unfolds. Uh, we have been a senior center of excellence for 15 years and part of our service programs are, are twofold. One is our vital living program that provides transportation, minor home repairs, uh, visitation for, and for family caregivers and uh, friendly visitation. Additionally, we have our vital living program, which is really our senior center activity uh, component which offers about 45 to 50 activities per week, including Tai Chi, yoga, warm water exercise, healing touch, computer classes, um, day trips, lifelong learning opportunities, and that type of thing. I was really struck by what uh, Professor Doran said, and I really would like to reflect on the fact that the whole Shepherd Center movement, a part of who we are, there's about uh, 75 affiliates nationwide, was really informed by Dr. Robert Butler's uh, research in terms of dealing with uh, ageism, uh, I like the new ideology, and moving towards uh, reinvesting our time rather than retiring. Uh, one of the things within our Vital Living program is a new offering, which I'm going to speak about, which is our um, new offering called Retirement Reimagined. Uh, but just briefly, our mission statement is to promote and support successful aging, and uh, we do that by uh, providing direct services, volunteer opportunities. The vast majority of our volunteers are older adults. We want to give meaning and purpose to that uh, fulfillment in life, as well as life enrichment programs. The concept of retirement, just to give you a little bit of background, and most of you know this very well, and you may not be able to see all of this, but really retirement was not on the radar until about the 1930s. Uh, most of you, our parents, basically worked till they dropped. Um, but with uh, the 30s bringing about pensions and the labor movement, uh, bringing about uh, new standards there, Social Security and Medicare, began to give people the opportunity to think about doing something beyond work. And so the whole concept of retirement really bloomed. And it's a fairly recent occurrence, as most of you can realize. The unfortunate thing about retirement is if you look at the Greek uh, underpinnings of that term is retreat from life. How, do, how many of us want to retreat from life? So let's look at a, a couple of quotes, and you may not be able to read these, but I'll just highlight uh, briefly from the Sloan Center of Aging and Work. People need to invest as much, if not more, time in their social or psychological portfolio rather than their financial portfolio. And retirement is not like jumping off a diving board. It's a process and takes time. The... Uh, Several studies have, have informed what retirement actually does to individuals. One is the American Psychological Association found that psychological effects include loss of identity, loss of support networks, marital issues, and trouble finding new ways to stay active, and can result in mentally in anxiety, depression, debilitating sense of loss. A lot of the folks that we have worked with, and I know that senior services has worked with, the social isolation comes even for people who are affluent and retire, become socially isolated, and a lot of these things begin to, uh, to happen. The uh, Institute of Economic Affairs and Agent Endeavor Fellowship in the United Kingdom uh, did some research a number of years ago and found that uh, of those whose self-assessment of their health prior to retirement 
was either very good or excellent found that their overall health decreased by 40% after retirement. Really something to look forward to. Uh, the increase of probability of suffering from depression increased by 40%. And the uh, increase of the probability of having at least one new diagnosed physical condition requiring medication increased by 60%. Also, some studies have found that on the average in the first six years of complete retirement, meaning cutting the, board, cut, cutting the cord completely, individuals in, uh, had increased difficulty in mobility of daily living activities, increase in physical illnesses, and decline in mental health. Also, the um, Holmes Ray stress inventory found that retirement is the 10th most stressful, the tenth most stressful event behind family death, marital problems, major loss of illness, loss of a job, or even jail or imprisonment. So this is really not setting a good scene for retirement. And so this, this is what we are trying to do is reframe what retirement looks like. The factors that might uh, mitigate some of these issues, and some of this has been touched on earlier, support from family, friends, spouses or partners, physical activity, continuing to work full or part-time, engaging in an encore career or some type of entrepreneurship or volunteering. So why did we offer our retirement reimagined? And we picked up on this reimagined theme to, to try to continue that, uh, that uh, concept. One was our history with volunteers. Uh, a lot of our volunteers have come to us indicating that they were absolutely bored to tears. Some men had come to us and said, their wife didn't want me around very much. Uh, two of us in the same house all day long was getting a little bit stressful, and so my wife suggested I should volunteer. Uh, many, many reasons, but overall, we began realizing that everybody does their financial planning, their health care planning, but not their retirement planning. The growing number of retirees, and you heard the numbers of what is happening here in Forsyth County. Many, many people are seeing this as a golden opportunity, but it, it may or may not be for them. Uh, there are a huge number of financial planning workshops. You cannot pick up the paper, listen to the radio without hearing somebody offering some way to maximize your investments. But we wanted to focus on the psychosocial aspects of retirement and perhaps look at retirement as a spiritual issue. Why are we here? What's my purpose? So the workshop purpose for this particular offering is to explore meaning and purpose in retirement years, to assess the interest and skills available to reinvest beyond one's chosen career, and to create a personal plan from among the many options retirement presents for continued personal growth. We wanted it to be a learning experience, focusing on the next chapter. Some people call it an encore, whatever you want to refer to it, but that, that third, last chapter of life, if you will. Uh, we offered a four-week, eight-hour workshop format initially. We're going to be doing a weekend format in June. We're limiting it to around 15 to 16 individuals. We have uh, presentations with a workshop leader and resource material doing personal inventories, and then self-reflection and planning for the future. The first cohort that came to this uh, event, and uh, one of the people, at least in this audience, came to that, and he might be able to uh, reflect on this as well. Uh, several of the individuals indicated that they were scared about what was coming up. They were burned out. They weren't sure what was next. What, they wanted to be proactive in facing the transition, they need the need for routine. They realized that they've seen people get out of routine and they, they were frightened by that. Uh, individuals felt that they had a, a lot to give. They wanted to make the time a significant part of their life for themselves and their family and friends. They were looking for how to direct their energy, having a structure in which to talk about retirement issues. Not the financial stuff, but you know, what are you going to do with your time? What kind of hobbies do you have? How are you going to reinvest uh, your time? And exploring what, the, what that next door that opens might uh, present.
The course overview, just to give you an idea around this, was looking at, again, some of the assumptions about retirement. Ageism really came up in that. So many people felt that they were just uh, being looked at as out to pasture, if you will. Uh, the importance of preparation, the planning and uh, life of meaning and purpose and spiritual growth. We had a resource book uh, by James Autry uh, called uh, Spirituality of Retire the Spirit of Retirement and looking at that. The additional course overview had a, a strong interest inventory. It was an online inventory that each individual did. Looking at the idea of work versus job, vocation, being versus doing developing an I am manifesto, who, I'm, who am I and what, what do I want to provide uh, going forward, writing your next chapter, looking at what your legacy would be. As I mentioned, one of the resource materials we used in this was a book that we uh, purchased for everyone with the course fees, it was A Spirit of Retirement by James Autry, which is really looking at the psychosocial aspects of retirement and really the spirituality of retirement. One of the main themes that goes through there is, I am going to be retiring, who is going with me? Not that I'm going alone, but who is going with me? One of the significant pieces out of this, and you may not be able to see this very well, was a, a time for chart that looked at, if you look at the upper left-hand corner, it is a, a, a thank you, a, love time area on the upper right hand those who need you on the bottom left hand the world around you and then on the bottom right hand side your inner self looking at those as concentric circles that go out and where are we on this and how do we want to spend the remaining time that we have with ourselves, with others and in our endeavors uh, lastly the options that we want to explore are uh, have individuals look at it, the continuation of work, an encore career, part-time work, uh, meaningful volunteer opportunities, leisure activities, hobbies. And our next steps with this particular offering is we now have 30 people on a waiting list. We had 50 in some initial pilot uh, work that we were doing. We're going to be holding a workshop in June with 16 participants. Uh, the group that just finished the course wants to have a reunion in about three months to look at that and develop a support system where they can be accountable to each other and to have continued connection uh, with the participants going forward. Thank you.